Wig with braids. Wig with braids. Sister, sister, sister. I can do your hair, my friend. Sharp. Wig with braids. Wig with. Hi, my friend, my friend. Come, my friend. Come, let me tell you, my friend. Don't worry, don't worry. Come, come, come. Just quickly. Don't take long. Come, 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 come. Yes. Let me help you. Let me do your hair. No, don't worry. It's not expensive. Let me just do your hair. What do you want? Braids. How long? Okay, no. How much do you have? Okay, no. Come. No, no, no. Don't worry. Come. No, it's around the corner. Come, let's go. beautiful people welcome back to my channel i'm kapana shimange and this is how i do things the show where you send me your questions and i'll let you know how i would do things now if you want to take this as advice use it don't use it it is completely up to you now is it just me or do i feel like everybody's got a hustle of some sort i feel like everybody's got this multiple streams of income situation going on it's like i make money like this i make money like that i got money coming in from here and they just like flash just making money all the time and you're just like how How's everybody making all of this money on the side? Everybody's got like an Instagram boutique of some sort. I feel like it's the age of the hustle. Every woman has just got her something, something going on. A little back pocket just growing in the back here where she's always able to afford, afford things. Especially now. I feel like the lockdown has just unearthed these new entrepreneurs. All of a sudden your friend is good with money. She's multiplying her cash. How sis? Why are you not telling us? Why are you leaving us out? Huh? So I got this question from someone on Instagram who's asking, listen, I feel as though I need to start a side hustle, but I'm not really sure if I should and when I should. And even if I should, how? Please say, how do I do this side hustle situation? Look, I'm going to give you one straightforward answer right now. Should you start a side hustle? Yes. Yes, you should. I'm one of those people who's just uncomfortable with one stream of income. I believe in multiple streams of income. And if you're going to start a side hustle and multiply the number of ways you're going to make money, do that and do that yesterday, not now, yesterday. Now, if you have any questions that you want to send to me, head over to my Instagram at Kopana Shimange and look for this picture right here. Click on the little pink box or reply and let me know which scenario or question you want me to focus on in our next video but until then let's get into this juicy topic of starting a side hustle so what is a side hustle it means some business that you do outside of your work so if you're a nine to five or somebody who's in corporate and you're thinking to yourself how do i make extra cash it's basically starting a small business on the side something that gives you income outside of your general nine to five now side hustles often become huge empires you know can you imagine yourself being the leader of an empire running your own business being the lady in the three-piece suit being like this is my business here that could be you and it could all start with a side hustle now if you want to get into a side hustle then this video is for you i'll give you some secrets to successfully starting your own side hustle tip number one is to start asap act asap right now right now like when you finish watching this video start acting right now it's not just about sitting in front of your computer and just daydreaming looking at other people whose businesses you may want to start doing your research ah uh -uh. you need to start acting right now the problem with many people when they want to start a business whether it is a side hustle or whether it is a business that they want to go into full-time unemployed or employed is that they plan for a very very long time they get stuck in planning known as planning paralysis so it's basically you just get stuck in this mindset of planning 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 you find out something new and then all of a sudden you're stuck on that thing you find out a new piece of information you look at a new competitor and you just literally just paralyzed by the state of constant planning so if you want to start a side hustle act now do something today to start building that business it's not enough just to plan people get stuck planning act right now now as soon as this video is finished like subscribe comment and then go start your business now now tip number two is to spend zero or no money on starting your business and now you're like huh yes 
If you're going to spend any money on your business, it is going to be learning how to start your business, gaining the skills to run your business, but spend zero to no money starting up that business. If you need some products, get those products if you want to resell them. But honestly, try and spend as little money as you possibly can. Here's what I've seen so many times. Now remember, I am a personal brand and business coach and I've been doing this for over five years and I've been an entrepreneur myself for over 10 years and I've seen this happen over and over again. When you have a little bit of bank, you tend to throw money at the problem instead of finding your cheapest solution. So be very slow to reach into your pocket to pay for something in your business. If you can find an alternative that means that you don't have to spend any money, do that. Be as frugal as you possibly can. Just be like, ah, I don't have any money. I can't do this. No. Even if you have the money to pay for it, just be like, no. You can always find a way around it. Here's an example. You may think that you need to buy products, keep them stocked before you can sell them. Mm -mm, it doesn't have to work that way. If you have a one to three day delay on your deliveries, then you can actually only buy products based on how many sales you make. So first you get the sales, then you go buy the products. That way you actually spend zero on getting the products. Hmm, a lot of people do that. Multi-million dollar business do, businesses do that. There are some popular businesses, computer businesses, software businesses, businesses that are in Silicon Valley that started this exact way. There are mining companies, there are companies in agriculture, so many companies out there that get the sales first before spending any money. And if you can do that as well with whatever business idea you have, then you are on the way to building yourself a success without landing yourself in a big dead hole. Number three is to start with the lowest hanging fruit. Why do I, what do I mean by that? Okay, so when you're trying to find a business idea or what business you should try to get into, think of yourself as a person who's going to go pick apples. You want to try and start with the lowest hanging apple first. That way you immediately get an apple in your hand and that's what you want to do with business. You want to get into business as soon as possible by going into the easiest business that you can get into. The problem that so many of us have is that oh, too many people are in this business. That's actually a good thing. You want to go into an industry or a business where there are a lot of people already there because it shows that there is money to be spent and to be made there. All right. So think to yourself, what is the easiest business that I can get into? If you know hair and nails, get into a hair and nail business. If you know a lot about taxes, start being a freelance tax practitioner. If you know a lot about designing, start offering your services in designing. Don't go and try and climb the tree and get to the highest, most difficult fruit for you to get. Uh -uh. Start with the lowest hanging fruit. This means that you need to go find out what do I know a lot about? What am I good at? What do I have access to? Can I use any of those things to start a business right now? And if the answer is yes, that is your lowest hanging fruit. Don't make your life difficult for yourself. Oh, this gives me stress. Do not make your life more difficult than it has to be by trying to get into a business that you know very little about. If you've got the knowledge, if you've got the skills, and if you've got the resources to go into a business that is easy for you to get into, that's the business that you need to get into right now. Don't go be learning other things and be like, I'm interested in that one. That other one, I know nothing about it, but I will learn. It will take you so long to get into business. And there's so many lessons that you can learn by starting with the lowest hanging fruit first. You can make profits and you can learn lessons. Don't go and look for losses while learning lessons. We don't have money and time to waste here, uh -uh, please. Number four is for you to promise to learn as you go. This is a problem that gets many people stuck in basically planning paralysis, where they're just like, I'm planning, I'm planning, I'm planning. I'm not gonna do this yet because I know nothing about it. A lot of the times, many people who are in business, they became successful because they made a promise to themselves that they're going to learn as they go. All you need to see is a step right in front of you. Take that step and get into business. If you want to wait until you know everything about your business, you'll wait for years and your opportunity may come and it may go. But you can learn so much if you just get started. So make a promise to yourself that I will learn what is the next step. I will just focus on the next step, right? Learn what is needed and then get into it. If you are going to take your time, it's going to take a lot of money and it's going to take a lot of time. And for many of us, we do not have that luxury. If you're one of those people who has 
a, a cash load of savings and you have a whole lot of time and you are completely secure and you think to yourself, I'll never get fired. Go ahead and take your time with it. But if you can get started right now, if you can get started and learn as you go, then do that because there's so much to gain from learning as you go. And step number five is to DIY. It is called bootstrapping it. What does it mean to bootstrap? It means to do what you can with what you have. And when you start your business, the only thing you have is yourself. You don't need a team just yet. Yes, you can call people for advice. And yes, you can get people to maybe help you with one or two things. But you do not need to go and hire full-time people right off the bat. That is just you sinking money that you haven't even made. A rule that I have with the ladies in the club, basically Club She Is, which is the company that I founded, a network for women who want to build their businesses and their brands. It's a mentorship program. So basically you just join, you become part of the club, you become part of this community, the sisterhood of women who want to become entrepreneurs and influencers who support each other as they build their businesses and their multiple streams of income. Now, in the club, I'm always telling the ladies, do not spend money that you have not made you need to focus on your number one thing and that is sales start immediately trying to make sales within your business and learn what is it that people want what people what do people want to see what is it that people need from this type of business as you're learning and as you're going you'll start to see that you know what i actually don't need to hire this big team right from the beginning you want to focus on sales and use that money that you get from sales to hire someone if you go and you start a business and from day one you've hired somebody that you're paying eight or ten thousand rand a month every month there's 10,000 rent just coming from your account and you've got zero sales. This is how businesses fail before they've even started because month by month, there's expenses. Expenses for an office, for a business that has no sales. Expenses for a secretary, for a business that's got no sales. Expenses for a designer, for a business that's got no sales. Hire people on freelance as and when you need it. You don't need a team right now. Do it yourself until you know how to make sales in your business. Get your freelancers, expand your team as your business grows. But right at the beginning, it's DIY until you need someone and until you have the sales to pay for that someone. Now that was quick, that was fast. It's a Monday, we need to get into our hustle. So if you have an idea, if you have that inkling to say that, listen, I really wanna start a side hustle, I need another stream of income, then this video is for you. So give me a big thumbs up so that I know that Kopana continue to make these videos because people really do appreciate these ones. It's a quick five steps for you to get started. The point is to start, act now, act fast, learn as you go, don't get stuck planning and DIY it until you get to a point where you realize that you know what actually this is a good business let me get somebody to help me let me get people into my business yes i'm starting to make sales so i'm going to need an extra person that's how you get started the point of a side hustle and the point of a startup is to get started so i hope this video helps you do exactly that now if you like this video give it a big thumbs up if you have a friend who's just like oh my gosh you know what i've been thinking of doing the side hustle thing friend what do i do share this with her and leave me a big comment let me know what business ideas do you have and maybe if you want to join the club head over to my description box to find out all about club she is the network for women who are ready to take control of their lives and earn income their way until the next time beautiful people thank you so much for joining me and oh to the morning club of people who join me at 7 30 south african time for the morning live premiere and live chat good morning to you guys have a beautiful day i'm kopana shimange and this is how i do things